the moment. Thank you. Make burgers with us. Dip trying time. Just not nice. I know, it's no. not nice. It's not nice. Whoa, it's quite cheesy. Which one will be nicer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I like this one. I like this one. And I like all of them. It's so fruity it's that it kind of reminds me of body wash. <laughs> what does it smell like? It just smells vanilla -y. Let's taste it. Chocolate Like the chocolate one. <laughs> With real peanut butter. Oh, yeah. cool. Real peanut butter. Actually, so different. Wow, it's really good. Mm. Two phase. Dad's yeah. first ever burger time. Burger making. Honey, I'll make it all the time. When did you, Mum, has Dad ever made burgers? <laughs> Welcome to Dad's burger making show. Have you ever made a burger in your life, Dad? Yeah, I've got a pack and cooked it. <laughs> this is crazy. I've never seen you make. I don't think I've ever seen Dad cook. <laughs> he did actually used to years yeah, ago. He did used to. Yeah, and Mum needs to practice more than me, so she cooks. I should Make. be good at this, I'm um, good at making cement. Yeah, it's like a cement mixer. <laughs> Make burgers with us. Pack in the diced stuff. Apple and onion. This is actually very efficient, Dad. It's very fast. What did you used to make? Um, spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. Really? Like this, but didn't you add beans to it? Yeah. Mum said, yeah, Mum said you used to put beans in it. Yeah. This is what happens when a builder mixes burgers. Yeah. It's the same consistency as tonight. Ooh, bicep. Good. Good. Yeah. That's perfect. That looks awesome. No, we'll, no I'll put it on anything. You get it in a ball, like a ball, like a snowball. Yeah. And you sort of make it compress like a snowball. And then you just, when it's... You just have to compress it, don't you? You flatten it. Yeah, it goes into a circle, doesn't it? Making burgers the builder way. <laughs> Here are the burgers. Dad likes chunkiness. Thank you guys. ASMR. It sounds squelchy. Is it really? No. Look at Dad's burgers. You're gonna love them. They're chunky. No. <laughs> yeah, vegetarian. No looking. Okay, but it was cold up here, look, so I'll have to put two on. Oh. That's a good idea, actually. Professional burger maker. Thank you, brilliant. They look lovely. Thank you. Here's Dad's burger. Dad's gourmet burger. I have to put tomato sauce in it, though. That looks amazing. The onion. This burger is amazing. Mm -hmm. Do you like it, Mum? Mm -hmm. I actually yeah. really like the chunkiness. It's really good. Dad's right, yes. chunkiness is good. It tasted better. Whoa. Yeah. Dad's burger. We are trying some new dips with some pita bread. Oh, it smells so good. There's pea and spinach, fire roasted red pepper, or sweet corn and chili, and some hummuses as well. There is, or is it hummus? Yeah. What's the plural of hummus? Hummus. 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 Normal hummus, red pepper hummus, and caramelised onion hummus. What one out of these does everyone think is going to be the nicest? Normal. Pea and Not spinach. Well. Red pepper or sweet corn and chilli? Oh no, maybe that one. Sweet mm. corn and chilli. Welcome to the dip taste test. Yay. Yay. Okay. Pea and spinach, red pepper, sweet corn and chilli, normal hummus, red pepper hummus and caramelised onion hummus. Go for the dips. I think I'll like the red pepper one. Here is my selection. And look at mum's, she's piled hers. 
Wow, artistic, Mom. Oh, yeah. Dip trying time. Are you excited, Mom? I thought it was a photo. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> going for the corn cool one first. I'll, cool one. That. I'll try the corn cool one as well. It's I weird. Try. It tastes like nothing, really. Mm, didn't like it. Oh, it's a bit spicy. Mm. Mm. Kind of tastes a bit yogurty. Yeah. It tastes like nothing much. No. I don't know if I'd have that one. No. I don't. Go for the pea. Even though I don't like the colour of the pea. It's not, I wouldn't buy it. It tastes it a bit pesto y. I don't really like any of them that much. <laughs> well, the red pepper one smells spicy. It's nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I think that's like the tastiest one. I, I like think. that, yeah. What's this one? I've got some. That's hummus. Probably the normal hummus. I like the red pepper one. Mmm. Mmm. I like the red go, pepper go, one as well. Go. The red pepper one's so nice. The corn one's spicier than this. Mmm. Mm. I really like the pepper one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smells like an actual toe. Tara said the corn one tastes what like a toe. I'm going to try the red what one now. Like <laughs> I think this is my first. Have I ever had hummus before? I think this is the first time I've ever had hummus. That one's from mm. the that wall, though. Yeah. Mm. I just like me some bog standard. I like the... I like both. That corn one actually... Caramelised onion one's it's nice. Nicer. It's got a sweet flavour to it. Oh. Go for normal first. This is my first hummus. Hummus! <laughs> normal hummus. Oh, it's nice. The caramelised onion one just tastes kind of like normal one, but with a bit of sweetness, don't you think? Caramelised onion. Should you eat a pot of hummus? Yeah. 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 People eat it on it, so. Oh. I could. Mm. Caramelised onion hummus. This might be life changing. It's so good for you. Mm. Mum's always loved it, normal chickpea mm. stuff. Oh my god. It's so good. Mm. It's good, isn't it? The caramelised onion one's so good. Mum's favourite is caramelised mm. onion hummus. I like the normal one as well. Red papa. Try a bit more of that. The red pepper one doesn't really taste like much, does it? No. No. I caramelized killed that onion. spider last night in my bedroom. I actually think caramelised onion. Yeah. Mm. The normal one's just more savoury. Mm. Oh, that's weird after tasting them. Normal oh, hummus. Mm. Which one's caramelised onion one? That one. That one. This one. Oh, that's okay. I don't like the pea and spinach, and I don't really like the sweet corn one. No, I don't neither. It's disgusting. It smells like a toe. Mm. What? Sweet corn one. Yeah. Hmm. The sweet corn one's gross. I really don't like that. Ugh. The pea and spinach one is weird, but the red pepper one. I was looking forward to trying that one. What? Sweet corn? Cool. Mm. My favourite out of the big dips is the fire roasted red pepper. What's yours? Oh, that one. <laughs> and then my favourite out of the hummuses is definitely the caramelised onion one. Yeah, me too. I really like the caramelised onion one. Got to try this separate minute. For... Oh, it's gross, Mum. Is it? I don't like it. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> maybe not. Try it, the one does. I don't know if I wouldn't want to. It's just not nice. Oh no, it's no. not nice. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's not nice. That one's nice. Try that one at home. <clears throat> it's actually horrid by itself. Lots of people might like it though. Which one's this? Red pepper. Fire roasted red pepper. Mm. That's nice. Mm. That's really nice, yeah. actually. Like Tara said, you'd have Doritos with you this. You dip it in. Mm. We'd probably have that with a barbecue. Mm. Caramelised onion, hummus, is amazing. Yeah, it's good. I'm glad we tried those. Nice afternoon snack. Mm. It's Tara. Traditional. What's mm. this one? Traditional? Mm -hmm. I'm making a cheese toasty with mature cheddar because I haven't made a cheese toasty in the grill before and I have never had a mature cheddar cheese toasty and mum says it's really nice Warburton's toasty loaf cheese toasty time look at that beauty wow I've only done a Nutella and Biscoff toasty and I haven't had mature cheddar for ages. So melty. Whoa, that is quite cheesy actually. That's 
good. It's quite strong. So good. Mum says it's really good just on its own, and it really is. Whoa, it's quite cheesy. <laughs> Look at the melt on that. Oh my gosh. So melty. Quite strong. Whoa, it's really strong. First time trying mature cheddar, and Mum said it's really good in the toasty. It is. And so it's nice. so good. I bit into it and I was like, oh, it's quite cheesy. Mature cheddar toasty. That's my first toasty in the toasty maker. Yeah. And it's my first yeah. time having mature cheese for absolutely years. Yeah. It's, good. it's quite strong and it's really nice. I'd definitely make that again. Yeah. Yogurt taste testing time. We are trying some yogurts. Mum bought these for me in Waitrose to try. Rachel's Organic. Two peach and two mango, made with whole milk. And then we saw onca and mango, papaya and passion fruit. And mum's fave, this used to be mum's favourite yoghurt. Five grain. Strawberry crunch, they've changed the name. And we're also trying Activia as well to see how it compares. Which one will be nicer? Dun dun dun. <laughs> Ready mum? Yours. Yogurt tasting time. Yes. Rachel's. Which one do you think will be nicer? I don't know. I like that one. This one smells yeah. really nice. I couldn't find those in Tesco's. They I don't. I think they only do her rice pudding. Uh, the divine one. Faithful to nature. Which one will be nicer? Yeah. So they look really nice. Look at the pots. Luscious mango and luscious peach. We... Let's open them. Which one should we try first? Which one's peach. which? That's the peach. The one you've got? Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, I quite like it. It's not so tiny as the mm. other ones that we've tried. I like this one, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I, I like the bits texture. of peach in it. It's not too runny. It's actually just right. Yeah, it's really good. It's the peach in it. That's really nice. It is, actually. That's a really nice yoghurt. Mm. Not too tart, but it's not really sweet, is it? I think that's nice. It's good. Mango. Eat mango. Oh. I don't think I've ever had mango yogurt. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. I don't eat mangoes. Mm. It's nice. It is nice. Yeah. It's really nice. These yogurts are really good. Mmm. Nice and mm. thick. Mm hmm It's not as thick nice. as the peach one though. That one I don't think. Mm. Mm. Yeah. This is just more peachy. Mm. It is. It's more of a flavour stays in your again. mouth. This is kind of like the peach, but not with the not such strong a strong flavour. Flavor. This no. is more sweet. This is more kind of vanilla-y with a hint of fruit. Should we try this Let's mango? Try that mango. mango. To compare. I think this one's going to be runnier. It's got the passion Look. fruit in it as well. Yeah. So it's quite... This one's quite runny. Alicia's had some already. That's like a really fruity flavour. Mm. Tropical. Tropical, yeah. Because it's got papaya, is that mm, how you say? Yeah. And passion yeah. fruit. Yeah. This is quite summery. Mm. Can't really taste the mango so much. I don't know. It just reminds you of like holiday and mm. like the Caribbean. Mm, it's mm. nice. This is really nice for like a summery taste. Yeah. Oh, oh this is lovely no, that pink. Isn't my favourite. I like the pinkness. Wow. Mum's opened the five grain. I used to have this when I was swimming. We used to buy this all the time years yeah. ago. It wasn't called crunch though, was it? No. It was just called like oats and something, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, green or what was it called? Up? Bio something. Mm, I like this one. I like this one. It's quite strong. And I like this one. Yeah, quite strong <laughs> strawberry. I like the oats in it. Mm. 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 It's good. Mm. I like the bits. I love the bits. Do you feel compared like you're to, eating um, something? Compared to Yo Valley, this is like a not so tart flavour. Yeah. I like this one. I like this one. And I like all of them. What's your favourite out of all of them? <laughs> this one. Mm -hmm. But I actually like the Rachel's ones as well. Mm -hmm. They're nice. They do I like peach the peach crunch one. of this. Maybe we should try and find it. Mm. 
It's the normal Activia yogurt. It's actually quite nice. Oh, I don't know which one I prefer. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's just a different kind of strawberry flavour, maybe. This is stronger, like, um, what do they call it? The drink, drinky yogurt, yogi sip. I don't know if they call it that here. I used to get it in South Africa, yogi sip. That's like quite a strawberry-ish, like a drinky yogurt. Onkan. What do you think of this? Not so strong strawberry, is it? It's quite, it's quite nice, that. There's no artificial colours in that. It's very pink. It's carrot and beetroot juice to make it that colour. Mmm. Yeah. So weird. Yeah. I like the mango no pot. Snack. This is actually Different. a lot nicer than I thought it would be, the actual. Yeah. These are really good as well, actually. I like the Onkan yogurt. I think I could eat Would you rather of have the Onkan than these? Hmm. I don't know. I think the Onkan yogurts have stronger flavour. These are just like yogurt with like a hint of mm. fruit, don't you think? Hmm. They're nice. They're not too overpowering, these, are no. they? If you want the flavour, you have the flavour in these, don't you? And this Onkan one's super fruity. Mm. Would you choose Onkan over all of them? Yeah. That one. Yeah. We're just all sw sw swapping grandmas at the end. <laughs> it's quite Moorish. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't stop eating that. I reckon I've eaten half of the thing. Five grain Onkan's nice. Best. It's very nice. I, I love the Onkan yogurt. It's so fruity yogurt. that it kind of reminds me of body wash. <laughs> a fruity body wash. Like a tropical juice drink. Mm. I think in a summer, on a summer's day you'd like this. Yeah. But I think that you kind of have to be in the mood for this. Mm. Whereas you probably always fancy. Do you think? Mm. Strawberry. Mm. Activity are nice as well. Kind of remind me of Petit Flu. Mm. Is it Petit Flu? Oh, Makes yeah. my bones grow stronger. They are, they are really nice. nice. I would definitely buy them. They're really nice. They're subtle. Yeah. They're more like yogurty. Yeah. Well, it's been an extensive yoghurt review. Yeah. What's the winner, Mum? Well, for me, it's the Onkan. I would choose these over this. Anyway, they're all really nice. Yeah, so you should just nice. go and maybe try them all yourself. Yeah. But this, we used to get this ages ago, like when I first started having yoghurts at swimming. Anyway, I think in order of ranking, I would probably put Rachel's with the five grain. Yeah. And the Activia, oh, I don't really know. Hmm. But I probably put this one last, but only because it's such an acquired, like you have to just really fancy it. Yeah. But it's super nice and fruity. These are on special in Waitrose. It was two for three pounds or like, or one pack of four for three, two pounds 50 or something. And mum just picked up one I pack. <laughs> when they're on special, it's good. But if not, they're quite expensive. Shall I just finish these? Yeah, definitely. Hmm. I'd buy all of them really. And the collective is really good as well. Please just come upstairs while I add it. Good girl, baby girl. Trying some quinoa chips. Alicia opened them and said they were nice. And she saved some. A lot of flavouring on. They smell quite strong as well. Ooh. They're, they're quite sour creamy. Mum said they like the Sun Bites ones, so maybe it's better just getting the Sun Bites ones. These are good though. Very nice. Tonight we are trying Madagascan vanilla custard made with fresh West Country milk and cream and free range egg yolk. Whoa, yummy. Yeah, <laughs> after I had a whole jug of custard, I wanted to try some. And so many people commented saying the M&S fresh, fresh custard and the Waitrose fresh custard is really divine. So, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> I've never had custard like this before. No. Let's try it cold. Yeah. And then if we don't like it, we can warm it up. Custard! Also, we've been really into trifle at the moment. And <laughs> custard layer is the best. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so thick, come on. Is it? Ooh, smell that. Mmm. vanilla -y. Kind of smells really vanilla -y, actually. Can you see the dots of vanilla? But I think this might just Completely changed our lives. Yeah. <laughs> Dishing up well. the bad boy. It's all gone. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go.
go. Let's go and try the custard. Look at the beautiful custard. Appearance, it looks white. White. And we're <laughs> used to yellow custard. And it, it looks very wobbly. You can see the Madagascan vanilla. We'll probably in it. taste it and it <laughs> It's probably be gross. I don't think it I think it will I think it will be I think it'll be nice. Can you tell I'm not sure because I said I think loads. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think. Ready. Ready. What does it smell like? It just smells vanilla -y. Taste it. Oh yeah, it tastes um Ooh. very creamy. It's nice. Very rich. It's like custard you get in a posh hotel. It's really nice, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. It's not like your normal custard that you just mix up with some hot water. It's it's a different custard. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. It sort of kind of tastes like because I'm used to having custard different than this. It's like a like a runny mousse, don't you think? Sort of it's like a, a dessert, like um mm. maybe like a white chocolatey kind of dessert. Yeah. That thing's tar made. Mm, Look at this. Wow. It's very rich, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, it's really satisfying. Mm. And you just sit in front of the TV and just eat it like. We've got it oh cold. Oh my gosh. I like it cold. Yeah, cold. This is actually so nice. Mum says that you can't beat birds custard. Can you? No. <laughs> This just tastes so different, isn't it? Kind of reminds me of Milky Bar dessert pops. Yeah. A bit like them. It's actually so good. <laughs> Great. It tastes quite vanilla-y, doesn't it? Mm. You can also taste the creaminess. Very creamy. And it tastes like actual, real, proper vanilla, not like a fake vanilla flavour. Yeah, it does. I would definitely buy this again. Yeah, so nice. Only problem is, mine is <laughs> <laughs> what would you give it out of 10? 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's really good. I didn't know what to expect from it. I think it was, it's just nice on its own. I think it's nice by itself. This is amazing. The bird's being really loud. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's nearly gone. Oh, shame. We'll, we'll just have to get some more. <laughs> Waitrose Madagascan Vanilla Custard. That's it. It's very, it's very really good. Yeah. Very good. Very, very, very divine. <laughs> you couldn't eat a whole pot of it though. No, I don't think so. Like yeah. I did a whole jug of that other custard. Yeah, you could. I could not do that because it's just too rich, isn't it? Mm. And now we are carrying on the taste test: white Twix and nut butter peanut Nature Valley bars. I don't actually even know what they're called. No. Peanut. Me. Mum chose these, didn't you? Yeah. And I saw the white Twix in Tesco's and I was like, oh my gosh, white Twix. <laughs> because it's me. Nice. Mum chose yeah. these when I said, what would you choose if you were me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shall we try the Twix first? Yeah. 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 Show it. Go for it. Oh, it's white. Oh, cool. Cool, dude. It looks like a Twix, but white. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, baby. I think it is going to be amazing. Chocolate. Like the chocolate. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's actually so nice. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's so nice. The caramel goes with the white chocolate mm. so well. I'll just bite the top off. It's weird because it's a Twix but it's white. Always have to bite the chocolate off. Mm. The chocolate's really good. It's very nice. It's really good. Mm. It's actually so nice. Mmm. Mmm. I don't think I've ever had anything white chocolate caramel. Mm. And people say white chocolate goes with biscoff really well, but I've never had that. No. This is so good. I reckon it's got dark chocolate on top of the biscuit. It's actually so nice. Mm. I would definitely have this again. Me too. I really like this. It's so nice. And sometimes I eat a normal Twix and I think, oh, I wish the chocolate was Cadbury. Yeah. This good. kind of tastes like Milky Bar, don't you think? Mm. It tastes like a really decent white chocolate. It does. It definitely tastes like Milky wow. Bar. This Twix gets a... 10 out of 10. Honestly, <laughs> white Twix. I would definitely buy this again. Yeah, so good. White Twix. I'm saving this for a minute because Mum wants to try the peanut butter one, so do I. 
But white Twix is nicer than normal Twix. I think so anyway. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I was surprised by how good this is. 10 out of 10. How? Nut butter peanut nature valley bars. I think they'll be sort of peanut buttery and like a granola squished together. And made with real peanut butter. Oh, yeah, cool. Real peanut butter. Okay. You can get a peanut hazelnut butter. one as well, can't you? Yeah. Packaging is good. We like the colour. Yeah. Let's open it. Blue like the sky. Yeah, it's nice. They're not very big though, I don't think. Oh yeah. It's like crisps. And you open a packet. It kind of there. looks like um the Belvita. Oh yeah, breakfast, it's breakfast biscuits. bar. Yeah. Focus, focus. Look at the biscuit. It's filled. Peanut butter, baby. Here it is in half. Mm. Oh, it smells kind of like um sun pat, don't you think? Yes. Peanut butter. Go ahead. Good. It's weird having a biscuit with mm. peanut butter. But it's salty. It's really nice. Mm. It's actually so different. Wow. It's really good. Mm. Kind of like go to digestive, maybe a hobnob, mm. and put peanut butter on top. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try it dipped. So you don't need to buy those biscuits, just get some hobnobs and put some peanut butter on them. It goes all melty when you dip it. Mm. I think they're really nice. Yeah. So nice. Mm -hmm. They're very Moorish. Mm. It's kind of like an oaty biscuit, isn't it? Mm. Reminds me of something that if you're working, you're in a rush and couldn't get breakfast. Mm. Oh look, there's the peanut butter, and the peanut butter is it's a good amount. It's right, it's good. What? These are really nice. I think they would, they're quite satisfying, aren't they? They are. They're good. Mm. How many did you get in the pack? Four. Oh. We got them on special, though, didn't we? Mm. They were half, pr half price at Tesco's. I think they still might be. I like these. It's nice to have peanut butter as well. I haven't had it for ages. I would recommend these. Mm. I think they're quite expensive. Such a good snack. Mm. I bet them I thought mm. they would be. Yeah. Mm. That's what I always say. I always go, mm. 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 You ask me something and I go, mm. 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 <laughs> They're really nice. Yeah, they are. I'd try the other flavours, but oh my gosh. It's actually so good. Yeah. Like, I kind of want another one. <laughs> but also, you could probably make your own version. <laughs> For a quarter of the price. Yeah. A packet of hobnobs and a whole jar of peanut butter. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that was a successful snack taste test. Mm -hmm. White chocolate Twix is actually better than the normal one. I would recommend eating these, but pulling them apart. Yeah. And eating the peanut butter out of the middle. <laughs> and I'd recommend eating the Twix with the chocolate and then eating the caramel, then eating the biscuit. The only way. White Twix is absolutely incredible. I think this might be my new favorite chocolate bar. Just the biscuit left, that's how you eat your Twix. So much better than normal Twix. Oh, I just spilt water all over my phone. Well done, Alzani. I keep spilling water every time I fill that. Yeah, you like have, to have three chocolates a day, don't you? Well, three yeah. snacks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'd have three but all the snacks were different sometimes i'd have like um a shortbread and it was literally massive wasn't it it was like yeah, it was massive. so big it was dense it was like a brick yeah. it was like two of these and it was so big it was it was um flapjack that's yeah, it flapjack it was so dense it was a buttery flapjack wasn't it oh my god yeah oh. and then literally half an hour later i'd have to have a massive lunch and like three desserts but one of the guys, um, Filipino guy, got them from the kitchen for you, didn't he? Yeah. Got you the special flapjacks. But it's so weird, because like that was a snack, or this mini air shortbread that was massive as well, which was like a thousand calories. Or you could choose from a snack list the same thing, like a Twix or a Snicker. So it just goes to show it doesn't really matter what you're eating as long as you're eating a snack. Mm. I mean, <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not in hospital and I can eat whatever I want now. <laughs> yeah. Mum's food is so much nicer. 